Finishing over taller players is extremely challenging for small guards. So in this video, we're gonna watch something that Kyrie does and break it down and see how you can also add it to your game so that you can become a better finisher, right? And what we're talking about are the times when Kyrie has the ball and he's getting down the court and he shows it and he's moving it while he's in the air, right? And it just looks crazy acrobatic. All right, so look. What I want to point out is when he's showing the ball and when he's moving it, right? So one thing he always does is this is before he even leaves the ground, right? He has the ball up and he's showing the defense where the ball is, right? And that's what makes them reach and swipe. And the second he gets in the air, that's when he moves it. Right. It's not like Michael Jordan. You'll see Jordan do these acrobatic finishes. He's getting in the air and then going up and doing what he got to do. You know what I'm saying? He's just kind of floating because he's Michael Jordan. Kyrie is showing the ball before he leaves the ground because he's not that level of athlete. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when Kyrie has the ball here, for one, this is just also another tip of just when to drive. He has the big guard in him and you know, the first thing you're going to look at as a guard is just this defender over here. He's multiple steps outside of the paint. So if he were to attack right now and get here, that help has to come all the way over. And he'll be able to watch him and time him to the point that if he does come over, he can just kick it out to the corner. Right. But he knows he has a big on him. So what does he do? The most basic thing you can do he just attack that top foot. You see how Claxton is? He's leaning over quick between the legs get a step on the defense right now this is where the finish comes into play before he leaves the ground he is showing the ball all the way up it's high above his head high above his head right so watch when he gets in the air where Claxton is going to jump he's swinging where that ball was but Kyrie that's when he moves it when he gets in the air now he's moving it to another place right so that's something that like you have to keep in mind when you're attacking these bigs. You have to show them the ball because once they see where the ball is, that's where they're going to reach, you know? So again here, he's coming down the lane, even here. Even without putting it up, he's doing a quick pass fake. Look, he's showing the ball. Makes the defense react once just by showing the ball, putting the ball out there. Then here, before he gets off the ground, ball up, defense has both his hands up, he's putting his hands up, right? Now watch Kyrie, the second he gets in the air, he's moving it. So he put that ball up, he got them the defense to put both of their hands up, and the second he gets off the ground, now he's moving it. And he's getting through to the open spot, right? So this is something you have to, to really practice and, you know, it takes time to get really, really good at it. So, but you have to understand what's happening. So this, watching this video will help some, but then now you have to go practice, 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 right? So again, another situation, the help defense is all the way on the other side. He's outside of the paint. He gets a step on the defense. He's going up. Look what he's showing the ball right now before he leaves the ground. He is showing the ball on this right side. He has it out open, just out for everybody to see. And then look, the second he gets in the air, he's moving. He's going to jump where the ball was. He looks crazy right now, right? Kyrie just moved the ball, finish on the other side. So remember, show the ball before you leave the ground and then move it while you're in the air, right? And this one's just crazy. But again, he has the ball out for everybody to see. A lot of times he's holding it with one hand out. For you to see the defense is already ready to swipe at it as soon as he gets in the air we're moving that and this finish is crazy but again same concept show the ball before you leave the ground as soon as you get in the air now you move it to the open spot get you an easy bucket right every guard every player needs this but every small guard especially if you're going to get in there and attack bigs you got to be able to show the ball and move it and get to the open spot in the crowd okay so make sure you work on that if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe uh, and if it helped you leave a comment and also let me know what else you feel like you need help with in your game i'll make sure i do a video breakdown for you guys